So welcome to this tarot love reading. <clears throat> My name is Sophia. Welcome to this community. So what I'm getting is uh, a couple of things. First thing is lies and deception. Now, um, it's kind of like lying to yourself. I'll give an example, and I feel this is you and your person, but different examples from you and your person. Like, this is like you're with someone and that person got sacked. I was, <laughs> this actually happened to me, <laughs> but you're with someone and that person got sacked. But, so they're like, listen, you're sacked and you've got four weeks to clear your desk. And that person goes home and pretends that everything's okay. And like, I don't know what they expect, but hoping that the last minute that everything's going to be sorted, it's what I'm kind of getting, um, that kind of energy. There's a deception and just hoping that everything is going to work out, but knowing that, mm, not really. The other thing I'm getting, which is a side note, is, Envy. I keep getting that. People that uh, negative Nancy's, right? And uh, are watching you, are listening to you. They're watching me. Hi, negative Nancy's. All that kind of envy. But if you're on track, trying to be on track, trying to be that decent person, trying to change planet Earth, trying to be your authentic self and do what the downloads and all that kind of good stuff is telling you, you're protected, right? <clears throat> And that protection isn't like, oh, well, the others are fucked. It's really karma. That's what it is. But there is negative Nancy's. And there's nothing you can do about it. You know, they're watching you, copying you, listening to you. So I suppose I'm connecting with tower readers, <laughs> tower readers and whatnot, or competition and things like that. There's no competition on this planet. There's enough for everybody. There isn't. I could 100% uh, uh, wholeheartedly, if there was a, a high street with 10 hairdressers, I would guarantee that person who wanted to make up another hairdresser that I could get them successful. Because it's about people do things differently. So there's no competition. But it's not about the competition. The negative Nancy see it's a competition because you're different, because I'm different. Okay, let's jump in because this reading is more to do about this deception. That's a sideline with a negative Nancy, five of pentacles. Is that them? The negative Nancy's being left out in the cold? Or is that from <coughs> the line? Ah, yeah, it's the initial, the line. Okay, hold on. Check out the Facebook group. In the Facebook group, I can post far more than what YouTube do. Now, granted, I don't post, post shitloads, but your uh, light worker starts that you're someone that, if you're watching me or someone in this community, to make changes to this planet. And that is, <clears throat> it's to make peace isn't peaceful, put it that way. So you're against the norm. And the things that I can say in the Facebook, I can't say on the YouTube, they they that give me strikes and block my channel and all this kind of stuff. Facebook is a bit more flexible, so I can post more different things and stuff on the Facebook. And that and why I'm saying that is that the things that you need to know. If if you're following someone who says things that is um, not controversial, I mean David Ike. He got banned from. <coughs> um, YouTube because he was talking about the virus and how there isn't a virus and stuff like that. I presume that's why they banned him because you can't talk like that on YouTube. So I'm just saying that um, there's things that you um, like that that people talk about on other social media. I'm not saying it's true, it's not true, but I'm just saying that you know you can get far more information and stuff like that on different social media platforms. Well, YouTube is a bit more strict. So if you're just following someone, well, to be honest with you, most tower readers don't even talk about things like that. They talk about their own personal opinion. And you might like their opinion. 
you might say, yeah, that's cool because they're telling me to get rid of the narcissist and that there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm just saying, so long as you know, it's their opinion, not guided from upstairs from the above. As long as you know, it's that person's opinion that this person's cheating on you, this person shouldn't be cheating, this person's this and that. Why well, said they sat at home, lonely, sad, and not in a relationship, telling you, I would put up with that, but I'll put up with being lonely. Right? You be like me. <laughs> That's what they're telling you. I'm just saying that, right? I've just got to put that out there. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, sorry, King of Cups, Three of Wands in reverse. Mm. Yeah, check out the Facebook because I can put more stuff on there that is a little bit more controversial, put it that way. Five of Pentacles, King of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands in reverse. Five of Pentacles is connected with what I said with the initial energy about you're lying to yourself, so it's keeping you left out in the cold. This is you and your person. It's like half, five pentacles to me is half way in, half arse attempts. Like a backup plan. This is like having a relationship and like not sure how it's going to work out. So say, for example, you've got twin flame number one and, oh, they're fucking about, they got baby's mum issues, blah, 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 so I'm going to have a twin flame number two or soulmate that I'm texting on the side. That's five of pentacles, half ass results. And it's a mirror to your person and to you. Your person does that with you. They don't fully commit to you, right? They don't fully commit to you and half ass results. Um... And I, I was talking, and I'll call him out blatantly to David about, uh, we, we talk about living together, and he says that obviously when he's like living with me, then his family will all know about me. But in my, in my perspective, that's still half assed results with Five of Pentacles. I'm like, well, that's, a, that's like um, a must. It's, you know, really going for something, and that's why I like the rich and the Hollywood because they really put their all into something and if it doesn't work out, they know they've done it all. It's like going and telling family and going and doing, this is you, your person, and I said to David as well, doing things that, um, without that backup plan of if it fails, is what this planet is about, and then you get that person. If not, you'll be left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. It will fail anyway, because you're not, you have a backup. This energy is, and the energy is who you are on this planet. This energy is all in, or is default, defaulted all out. That's what it is. So this is you not all in. And that is, that's your person side, and with you, like I say, you, you do Reiki, acupuncture, yoga, meditation. That's not all in. You're not doing all the inner work on yourself. You're not collaborating. You're not listening to the right people. You're not all in. half assed attempts. And, and it's clarified by the King of Cups. Because the King of Cups is someone who's a dreamer. All talk, no action. There's the King of Cups. Yeah, well, we're going to travel the world. Uh, I'm gonna, that's the king of cups, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and you feel that they're genuinely gonna do it, that's the bad side of weed, I know a lot of people who smoke weed, and the bad side to me of weed, well apart from, well I was gonna say apart from the health, but um, I don't want to go into that too much, but it depends how you, with weed, I'm not talking about all addictions, if you come home and you chill and you smoke and you're at peace and it calms you down and you're relaxed, the weed is not likely to harm you. It's the same as alcohol. If you take it in proportion and you're relaxed and it's calming you, your body won't see it as a negative, right? It won't. 
but obviously if you're doing it to the extremes yes but what i'm saying here is that your person just goes up in their head and thinks about what they want to do and you generally feel that love of yeah they're going to do it they're going to do it and like i was saying with weed the bad side is that still today i get pulled in with people who, who, who smoke drugs of the i'm gonna do i'm gonna do and it pisses me off because i'm so convinced because they're so passionate of yeah they're so convincing of yeah i'm gonna do it maybe your person's on drugs here as well yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and it never happens that's with weed it's all talk it's all up in their head right that's the king of caps and unless you take action like i said the half asked results, like I said, the initial energy of deception, lying to yourself and lying to others about why things don't work out, and then having some kind of excuse in your own mind of why it ain't going to happen. Three of Wands is, ah, oh. <laughs> three of Wands in the reverse is no more waiting. You're not having this anymore. So this could be you or your person. So your person is like, maybe your person's five of pentacles. Yeah, your person could be coming away from that rooted belief system of maybe their parents are saying to them, one example, don't worry, son, daughter, my love, the, the marriage you're in will get better with the uh, five of pentacles, because it's a tree. This belief system, this this rooted belief, roots, the tree, right? That things, pentacles, or the physical world of how things will be. And maybe they're telling this person how it will be, and your person's like, nah, no more, five, three, no more waiting for things to change. And with you, you could be saying this with your person as well. No more waiting for things to change with just loving the talk yeah i'm going to do this i, I like people on weed i just love how they talk it makes such logical sense if i'm going to do this i'm going to put the child mind here and it makes such sense and then they just when the weed goes it's like uh actually uh, uh, uh on reflection <laughs> when you when you call them out i can't do that because of or whatever here Page of Cups, Two of Swords, yeah, indecision, Chariot in reverse. I feel, like I said, once again, this is connected to that initial energy of deception, of what you're doing. Look at what you're doing. And this is a lack mentality of what poor people do. Poor people always buy stuff, right? They buy all the stuff and do all the things. They sign up for these courses and do everything and they never complete it right it's like yeah in september i'm going to go and do a counting course because of blah 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 because i want to be an accountant i want to have extra money come september oh, yeah well the kids this the kids that that's this this is making excuses of why you can't why you didn't things like that with page of cups it's like a false promise is what i'm getting in reverse but the page of cups is starting something right starting something small with, with like i said like investing in college i'm not saying to invest in college to be honest with you but you know it's like that investing in college and obviously that's the start because the page of cups is the student so starting something but then not starting it because it's in reverse taking back that promise which leaves you and someone left out in the cold two of swords is too much in the head, right? In the emotions of how it is. And um, with the swords, like I said, there's deception here. Too much indecision about going for what you know, what it should be. Because King of Swords is, I'm sorry, King of Cups is here. And that's emotions. Emotions, the heart, you can't go wrong. So there's something you want to do, but you keep saying no to your person, to the situation, to something. It's like you know, king of king of uh, cups, but you logicate the way out of it. And no, then logicate your way out of it. Extreme.
chariot, the, yeah, it is, you or someone's here is like, fuck this. Three of wands in reverse to chariot is in reverse. It's like, I'm not moving forward on this shit anymore. No, right? Unless there's progression, unless there's a forward movement, unless, right, there's no more talk, there's actual action, I'm not moved. This is, no, this is, this is, um, done. Chariot. It's done. It's not, it's not happening no more. That's you, your person, both of you, something's happened here. I feel like you just, I don't feel you have hope in this situation with the two of swords in reverse. This person who's not making the action step is stuck on a belief system of doing something a certain way. But naively, stupidly, with a page of cups in reverse, thinking that things are going to change, but still doing it their way. Like I gave that example of getting sacked and not telling anybody and going to work. You watch those films where they say, uh, your husband's been sacked six months ago. And you're like, well, where does he get up and go every day? I'm not saying it's that extreme, but it's something here of delusional, two of swords in reverse, is complete lies. It's like you're lying about you don't want something and you're lying about where you are at the same time with the two swords down. It's extreme. So like, ah, I don't want to be with my twin flame. Fuck off. Yes, you do. Right? So, but you're lying to yourself with that. And then you're like, oh, I'm happy where I am. <clears throat> Another sword, two of swords. No, you ain't happy where you are. That's this. Chariot, as we've been so without. So you're bringing about no movement forward and nothing's going forward at all. Let's see, there's going to, oh, yeah, Dark Knight of the Soul here. This is the big boy cards. Oh, and I said, Dark for you or your person, dark, excuse me, dark night of the soul for you or your person. You, your person, or, or the both of you going through dark night of the soul. Alone time may be needed. In my car, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's like a fake self and it's like revealing the inner true self. So this is about actually going for what you really want. Stop making the excuses of, as I've been saying for a few of my readings lately, about, oh, they've ghosted me, or they're arguing with me, or they're blocking me, or they're not my twin flame, or they're healing. Stop making the excuses of what, what is a situation and really go for it. Because two swords in reverse is extreme lies. Extreme lies. Let's close it out. I think this is quite short, but it's it's what it is. Check out the other ladies. Check out their readings. Check out the additional readings they post in the uh, Facebook group as well. The Rain runs the Facebook group, so he, she posts um, free software, uh, uh, free programs in there as well. There's also playlists. Check out the playlist if you want. <clears throat> There's tons of stuff to help you. There's no excuse for you not to progress. Even if this is your situation, you can still move on and do things in your life without that studying of your person. It's about accepting they're your person anyway and getting on doing your own thing. I think about you constantly, it's insane. So this is... That could be what I'm picking up, the reason why they're scared. It's like when I was talking to David about moving in, 
we're not moving in. There's no really uh, progression there at this moment, I'll say. But the scary thing to me, I said to him about moving in, is it's for life, right? Twin flames are for life. And knowing that he's for life, even though I know it's for life, it's kind of scary. And that might be that self-sabotage of not fully committing you or your person because you know that once you make that change, it's for life. And that's you. Well, you come away from your family or, or say, no, I'm not doing this job anymore or this is my twin flame. Stop setting me up with Sarah Louise or Billy Bob, you know, coming out and saying, look, I'm in love with someone else, uh, and yes, they're in a situation, or they, they're married, or whatever, that's it. It's like, um, I, I think about you constantly, it's insane, it, that, I don't know, I'm just getting the connection of that. It's about coming out and saying what you need to say, because you do think about them constantly, with two swords in reverse, you're lying to yourself. I said the initial energy, you're lying to yourself. Uh, fear is holding me back. You're lying to yourself. You fear something here. But fear is like, um, it's not about, it's how you deal with the fear, right? It's not about stopping the fear. It's about how you deal with it. That's very important to know that because of um, there is a way how to deal with that. And if you fear something, it's like, obviously, um, you can fear it can be an excitement of wanting something new. That's it. Change it. Change it up. We can help you with that. I hurt. I hurt. You don't have to worry about your person because, no, it's your person that fears coming towards you. You fear something. There's always a mirror. So you fear, um, like I said, telling family that, look, I just love this twin flame. You fear the rejection of chasing your person you feel the rejection again of telling them you want to be with them and they say look i can only give you an hour at the weekend this is you as well i hurt you because it was easier than to tell you the truth like i said two of swords in reverse is two lies so as i said was the once again the example of that jo a job they're lying to you and it's e it's harder it's, it's easy I hurt you because it was easier than to tell you the truth. It's like, but the truth is they're lying to themselves. It's not about telling you the truth. It's about them taking accountability and ownership of, I fucked up this job and they've sacked me. What am I going to do? It's not about telling you. That's what they need. And with your situation, if this is your situation, they need to understand it's not about telling you the truth. It's about getting to the nitty gritties of, I need to move forward. I'm not telling people about this person. I'm not going to, what is that truth? That's what they need to do. But if you're not telling the truth to people about your twin flame, about you love them and they're in the third party and stop fucking cussing them out or whatever. And I'm going to do things how I believe I want to do them. And when I'm ready to do it, stuff like that, then your person's going to lie initial energy there's a lie here you make me extremely happy i'm never happy with this extremely happy card now, to me that's the five of pentacles not fully committing it's once again another lie ah oh, they just make me happy i don't think you're both not saying it it's like you could be saying you're not the twin flame but it's like it's more than fucking extremely happy it's love once again, there's a lie here, like, yeah, they make me happy, but I can move on. You're saying that, your person's saying that. It, stop lying. This connection is not an extremely happy connection. This is divine, divinely um, orchestrated so that you, twin flames, feel this. Constantly think about each other, in, in, so it's insane so that you work on yourselves to bring in love so you can teach others how to do the same. So this planet is more free. So stop pretending it's just, oh, I'm just extremely happy about it, but I can just let it go. Both of you here. Okay, so check out the other ladies. Uh, check out Facebook. Speak to you later.